Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. It has been quite a while since I've picked up the camera. It's been well over a week. We just had a rough week last week, and it was literally the busiest week that I've had since having Brecklin. But first and foremost, I just want to thank everybody for reaching out and sending your condolences, your thoughts and prayers, and everything for Jared during this time. We are just so grateful for every single one of you that watch my videos and support us and really actually like care for us as like friends and family it just really meant a lot and we are doing better we also just had a very busy week last week it was easter so we had a lot of masses to go to we went to like four masses in four different days in three different no, in two different towns. And we did a lot of traveling. <laughs> Jared and Brecklin both got baptized. Jared got confirmed. We had our marriage blessed. What else? I feel like there's so much going on. Oh yeah, we got up early Easter morning and traveled to watch my brother get confirmed. So it was just such a busy week. I didn't vlog any of it. My stepmom got a little bit of footage of the baptism, the confirmation, the like vow renewal and stuff, but like I wasn't <laughs> vlogging at the time you know but it's nice to have some of those memories on video i guess now it is wednesday i almost said tuesday how is it wednesday already 10 52 a.m and i'm just now eating my breakfast i'm eating some protein oatmeal i made a freaking coffee i'm so freaking happy to have coffee back in my life again it was harder than i expected it was gonna be not just because i wanted coffee but because I've come to find out that coffee is just like my daily laxative, you know, you know, and without it, it can get pretty painful, you know, <laughs> TMI, but it is true. And then I have my daily greens and of course my water. I'm all stocked up. I got up this morning. We slept in actually because Brecklin didn't go to sleep until like after 11 o'clock last night for some reason. So we were both tired this morning. So we didn't get up until like nine. And then I went in her room to feed her and she threw up all over herself. I was gonna give her a bath, but I just cleaned her up with wipes and stuff right now because I really like giving her baths at night because it, I just like to stick to the bath, like her nighttime routine and she knows like that's part of her nighttime routine is a bath. Now she's in our little rocker thing and she's about to take a little nappy. I have the cutest freaking outfit on her today. She's wearing her overalls and I'm so obsessed. She looks so adorable. She has been taking um, her morning nap in her crib, but today I just put her in her rocker, but she'll take her little afternoon nap in her crib. She takes at least one nap in her crib a day, which is so cute. But yeah, I just thought I'd start a vlog since I haven't vlogged in forever. Jared is at a meeting at work right now, but he'll be home in a little bit. And then later tonight, like around five, we are actually going to have our taxes done. Yay. Nothing like waiting till the last minute. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. And then I don't know what else we have planned. I do really, really, really want to film my newborn essentials video. I've been meaning to film that for like the last few days now, but we'll just have to see if I get to it. If I don't get to it today, it definitely is going to be tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got planned. I just straightened my hair and I have got quite a few questions on my hair routine or hair care products that I use and you guys like say that my hair looks so good which thank you I appreciate it so I wanted to like just share with you the things that I put on my hair it's literally hardly anything at all I just washed my hair yesterday and to be honest it feels like super greasy already which I think it's probably gonna feel that way since it's like so short now um, when it was long it hardly ever felt like it got greasy maybe only like on days seven or eight hair but for shampoo all i use is the native strengthening shampoo they have like different ones but they're all like based on the smell i really don't go off of like the strengthening or volumizing or anything like that i just pick the scent that i like the scent that i use is almond and shea butter and it smells so good it's silicone free sulfate free paraben free and this is like not sponsored or anything i just genuinely genuinely love native products so i use natives shampoo and conditioner and then i'm not a big fan of this and i don't know that i would recommend it but i do use it sometimes so i want to show you guys it's the bio silk silk therapy leave-in conditioner this stuff 
I will sometimes spray in my hair when I get out of the shower just because I like some sort of leave-in conditioner spray in my hair. Not necessarily now that it's short, but when it was long, I could not get a brush through it unless I used some sort of spray. So this is still like from when it was like fairly longer. So I don't use this like too often now because I feel like one, I don't like the consistency of this. This like feels like a thick spray. Like it's not like just a mist air spray. This is like a, like an actual conditioner that you're spraying out and it just like makes my hair more greasy, but I haven't used this in like a few weeks. So yeah. I just wanted to show it because I do have used it before. And honestly, that's it. For hair spray, I use the BioSilk Silk Therapy Finishing Spray, and I do love this. I get both of these at um, Marshalls because they're always so cheap. This was $9.99. If you would go to Ulta, this is like gonna be over 20 bucks. But yeah, that's really honestly all that I use on my hair. Not a whole lot, but the native shampoo and conditioner like are my favorite. I used to use Joico. I still have it in my shower. I used to use the Joico shampoo and conditioner and I loved these on my hair, but when I started like my healthier, free of toxins and stuff kind of journey, I switched away from these, but I do really like the Joico, but I haven't used this on my hair in almost two years. I don't know, but I still have them sitting in my shower for some reason. But yeah, that's really all that I use. I'm sorry that that was not much help at all, but Maybe it's just the native shampoo and conditioner that just make my hair look so good. So go get you some because they honestly smell so amazing and clearly it's working for my hair. Someone woke up when I had one step left to do in my makeup routine. Huh. I wonder who that could have been. But her outfit is so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? She's wearing Oshkosh Bagosh overalls today. And this like green long sleeve underneath it. It's so freaking adorable. I was going to give you guys an update on the Essence Lash Princess Mascara Primer. If you can see my eyes. I don't know how well you can see it. I've been loving it. I think it helps make my lashes longer with just one coat like to get my lashes to look the way they do with the lash primer before i would have to do like three coats probably but now with the primer i just do one and i love it i just put it on before i do my eyebrows to like let it dry for a little bit and then i'll go back and do my like mascara which i've been loving the black brown mascara that i got as well i've been using this one over the black mascara like i just love this one it's so good also another update i'm just full of updates you know look what i did I finally did my nails for the first time since Miss B has been born. Huh. You and dad let mom do her nails one day so that she could have them pretty for Easter. I just did my short round. No, not round. My shirt. My short oval square. No, my short rounded. Can I talk? My short like square round nails so that they're all one length and all even and then i did like the hot pink polish that i got like last year around this time and then i did the white chrome on top and i'm obsessed i think these might be my favorite nails that i've ever done and they're so pretty huh you think mom can do her mascara holding you i never tried that before are you even gonna give me a chance are you even gonna give me a chance oh no this is heavy oh you don't like that ah. You're hungry, huh? You're hungry. Well, I really couldn't see what I was doing. And I only got the top done. Are you a hungry girl? Are you a hungry girl? Look at her overalls. Are you kidding me? She's so cute. Ignore her wild hair. I don't know what to do with it. It doesn't lay down, huh? It don't lay down. Let's see. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna have to redo those. But. I'll go feed you and I'll do this later. Hopefully I remember before I do anything where I need to look cute. <laughs> It's bath time and we love the bath, huh? We love the bath. So does sister. Sister loves to watch. <laughs> Okay.
All this we pray in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. You guys aren't getting any. No, it's his mom's. You can't have chocolate. You will die. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is 8.15 and I made my coffee. I drank half of my protein drink, but I put the rest in her nursery room or her nursery chair because I like to sip on it while she's nursing and I'm waiting for her to wake up still. So I'm just sipping on my coffee and just really don't know what to do with myself. I could wash these bottles of the sink and stuff. Last night, or yesterday, we returned a box of diapers, a brand that we don't use, and switched to Millie Moon. And then we went to our tax meeting, did our taxes. It wasn't as bad as what I was thinking it was going to be, but still, just taxes are no fun at all. And then we decided to go out to eat, and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, which was fun. And then we were on our way home, and I, of course, wanted ice cream. So we stopped at Sonic, and I got a Heath Blast. <laughs> And then once we got home, I picked up Miss B out of her car seat and she had a blowout. <laughs> it went all up her side and it, good thing it was bath night already. So I just, you know, took her out of everything and just put her in the bath. And she is loving bath time now. Like she just sits there and kicks and smiles and just like loves it. And she's getting better about like getting dried off and also getting like her little lotion massage afterwards. She doesn't like scream cry anymore. She just kind of whines, but she just like loves bath time now and it makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite things. If it didn't kill my back. Oh, but well. And then we just got ready for, we did our nighttime routine, we fed her and went to bed. Why is it blurry? What are you doing? But I didn't get around to filming my essentials video. And you know what I was thinking last night? I'm literally, still haven't even filmed my third trimester recap so i'm like do i do that video instead i don't know so i definitely have two videos to film i'm not going to get them both done in the same day but i those are two videos that i want to film and then i think i think today we might be going to get what is going on with my camera what are you doing i think today we might go get groceries but i don't know that also might be pushed till tomorrow we'll just have to see also, I really, really want to get like a Starbucks. I almost got one last night, but it was like 7 p.m. But they have like this new lavender cream matcha or something like that. It looks really good and I want to try it. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably wash these dishes, wait for Brecklin to wake up and then feed her because my boobs are extremely full. <laughs> happy huh i didn't get very many morning smiles that's mom's favorite why didn't you give me morning smiles you want to stretch stretch your arms oh big stretch mm. good morning mm, you little cuddle bug you little cuddle bug she's so cuddly in the morning huh i love her i love her i need to change her diaper i need to change her diaper Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I know, it's just so hard to wake up, huh? We're hungry, girl. There we go. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Say, I am beautiful, I am loved, 
I am special. Silly dilly duckling. Spike curled himself into a tight ball as he whisked away. The feather flew up again. Are you trying to get the book? My brother got her this book. It's called Baby's First Book of Prayers. I don't get to it every morning, but most mornings we like to say three prayers in the morning, huh? So what are we gonna pray for today? It has a little content page of like all the different prayers you can pray for. So let's pray this new day. That's one that we usually always do. Okay, ready? Thank you God for this great day. The sun is up. Hey. We're praying. Thank you, God, for this great day. The sun is up, and I must say, I'm as happy as can be for each new day you give to me. Amen. And I didn't show you, but every page is like a little picture, and then it has a little prayer. Bless Mommy. She shows me how to tie my shoes and gives good hugs and kisses, too. She cares for me and all the rest. God bless Mommy. She's the best. Amen. We better pray for Daddy, too. Let's see. Page 60. We should have these all memorized by now. Bless Daddy. I love when Daddy carries me like I'm flying fast and free. Or when we dance a funny jig. Bless my Daddy. Bless him big. Amen. Amen. All right, let's do one more. These are just too fun, huh? Let's do... Hey, you're doing something on my watch, silly. Let's do 24. I am getting bigger. I am getting bigger. When I stretch my hands up high, I can almost reach the sky. I am growing tall and straight. Thank you, God. You're really great. Amen. Amen. Okay, all done with prayers for today. You guys, I literally just got done feeding her. I was about to lay her down for a nap and she literally threw up all over me, all over herself. Like there's so much throw up. She has never thrown up this much in her life. She like did three big things. What the heck, sister? I'm so confused. She was just smiling and then she just did a, <coughs> a little cough. And I said, oh, that's such a big cough. And then she goes, bleh, 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 three times, huh? Goodness gracious, girl. You literally just emptied out your whole stomach, probably. <sighs> what the heck? What the heck? Wow, I was literally about to just go start a workout for the very first time. Can't work out like this. <laughs> huh, are you so cold? You gotta be freezing. You, why are you so smiley? You probably feel better? Why did you do that? She's looking like she feels better. Look at your cute little outfit. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. You're adorable. Yeah, you are. We decided to come out and swing on the porch since it's like beautiful out. It's a little chilly in the shade but honestly it's supposed to be a beautiful day no wind which makes us happy so that means we get to go on a walk when it warms up a little bit it's like 50 degrees right now but it's supposed to be 70 huh we're just watching our siblings in the yard do you see brother do you see brother huh she loves being outside So it's 1027 and I was literally just getting dressed to take Brecklin on a walk because I put her down for her nap time and she just was not falling asleep. She was like fussing and she really doesn't do that. Once I lay her in there and give her a pacifier, when I have her in the her little arms up swaddle, she will like lay there for like five minutes and be out. But today she... <laughs> took a little longer I'd say it probably took like 15 minutes and I had to go back in there like a lot more times than usual to give her her pacifier and so just before going in there this last time I came back here and was getting dressed to go take her on a walk and then I decided to go try one more time and give her her pacifier and of course she fell asleep so I was gonna take her on a walk because I know that she'll fall asleep instantly when we go for a walk and that's what she needs and I can like do a contact nap with her right now but I like to do those in the afternoon and I typically only do one a day and I was gonna try and like get in some sort of movement in right now whether it be a workout or a walk and so that was just my second option of what I was gonna do but I've come to like realize 
that like you can plan your day out with a baby but that doesn't mean that that's how it's gonna go you know what I mean like you can present the opportunity for them to take a nap but that doesn't mean that they have to take a nap I learned that from like Catherine Manning she talked about that you can like present all these things to the baby but just because you present it doesn't mean that that's what they want or that's what they're gonna do so I gave her the opportunity to nap and if she wasn't gonna nap I was just gonna you know try to find a different solution but she obviously is taking me up on that right now but like if you're a new mom going through it and you feel like you are lost and don't know what you're doing you're doing great I promise you you're doing great you're doing exactly what you need to be doing your baby's not going to be the same as other babies and your baby's not going to be the same as your baby that it was yesterday like every day is a new day and you just have to wake up and try and crush it that day like I said your baby might not take a nap one day and she might take the longest nap of her life the next day but like you just have to present the opportunities for them so i just wanted to um give a little ted talk on that because even though she's still great she went down in like 15 minutes like that's a lot longer than what it usually takes her but i just wanted to share that every day is different every baby is different not all days are great but also not all days are bad either so hang in there you got it and i promise you you're killing it as a mom now that i'm dressed for a walk and we're not gonna go on a walk yet because once she wakes up, I'm gonna have to feed her and I don't know when that'll be. Usually her morning naps are like between 30 to 45 minutes. So I could get a good workout in in that time. So maybe I'll try. I don't even know what workout I'm doing yet. So we need to research that. So to get back into movement and getting back into working out, I think I'm gonna do a postpartum workout challenge. I just get onto YouTube and type in like pregnancy workouts or postpartum workouts or whatever. And I did postpartum workout and it's the same girl that I did like all my pregnancy workouts with and she has a little playlist with a 2024 January postpartum workout challenge so I think I'm gonna do that because it's like 20 yeah 28 videos so I can do it for a month like starting it's weird to start it on a Thursday but whatever I don't even care maybe I'll start it today and do a few workouts and then restart it on Monday so it's like the start of a week I don't know I just want to do this to like jump start me back into moving my body and getting back into working out um, and each video is like 15 to 20 minutes. So that's like perfect for just getting started back into it. And also like when you're low on time, like really short nap and stuff. So I'm going to start this. Today is postpartum workout challenge cardio. Yay. We love cardio. But it's 15 minutes. And yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to play it on my phone, but I'm going to like stream it on my TV. I have been watching my old videos. Like I've been just like obsessed with watching my old videos. And obviously I was like really big into like heavy lifting and stuff. And I really miss that. But I know I just can't jump right back into that right now. I got to start from the beginning basically and work my way back up there. So that's what we're doing now. It's also entirely standing. So you can do this work with baby growing as well. And like I said, not all days are great. <laughs> I worked out for 15 minutes and she probably slept 15 minutes before that. So a short little 30 minute nap, but she's also probably also really hungry because she threw up right before her nap. So her, her tummy's probably really empty, huh? But that's okay. I'm proud of myself for getting my first workout done. And that was killer, even though it was 15 minutes. And I'm very excited to continue on this journey and start a new 
postpartum journey. Mom burned 133 calories and my heart rate was 141. So that's pretty dang good for 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna change her, feed her. I need to eat because I literally haven't ate anything other than my protein shake, which is still good for me, but I still need to eat. So I'll probably make some oatmeal or something cause it's quick. And then I would like to possibly get in two walks today. So we'll do one walk to get the mail in a little bit around town and then maybe a walk later tonight with the siblings. Huh, you're the best baby. Okay, let's change your bottom. This is B. Drew's favorite thing to watch on TV. Dancing fruit. <laughs> Look how happy it makes her. <laughs> Do you love your dancing fruit? Do you love your dancing fruit? Huh? Oh, is it putting you to sleep? Okay, I just got done feeding her a bottle and I've been watching my old vlogs and I'm almost caught up to this time last year. I think I'm actually might be ahead a few days. I don't know. I thought I used to make this meal all the time and I was so obsessed with it. It's so good. So I decided I'm gonna make it for lunch today. It's toast with mayo and then two over easy eggs on top and it's so good. I don't have the right mayo. The only mayo that we have right now is actually, what is it? Miracle Whip, I think. The off-brand of Miracle Whip. Jared likes this stuff. The mayo that I used for this was the avocado oil mayo and I ran out of that a few weeks ago. So if I go to the store today, which I don't think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna get it tomorrow again and make this meal because I used to eat this daily. I also have some turkey bacon over there that I'm gonna make as well. I definitely overcooked the eggs. I like them, well, overcooked this one. I like them more runny like this, but I'm excited to have this meal. It doesn't look very great, but I promise you it's so freaking delicious. We're home from our walk. It is 124. She fell asleep in her car seat, so I just hopped in the shower real fast to do a little quick body shower. I feel so good. My hair looks crazy because I literally had it pinned up like this so it wouldn't get wet and it like got, you know, the humidity to it and now it's like standing straight up, which is cute. But a few weeks ago, there was this girl that stopped by that was selling like cookie dough for the middle school class or something. And so, you know, I bought some. So I made some chocolate chip cookies and they are so freaking good. This is the second time I've made them. I just, I'm addicted. Like, they are literally delicious. I've been allowing myself to have two a day and that is it. But seriously, so good. What is going on with my hair? I think I'm gonna try and pump real fast and then I'll probably feed her the rest of her bottle. You're probably getting hungry. You're probably getting hungry, huh? Also, we went on like almost a two mile walk. 1.9 miles and it took like 40 minutes, but it felt so good. It's so beautiful out. I might take the dogs on another walk later tonight, or we might just go to the backyard and I might throw the ball for 30 minutes or something. I don't know yet. I'm also hungry. I need to eat something. Do you want to do it, silly girl? It's hard to hold you with these knockers. Holy moly. You guys, so for Easter and her baptism, she got so many cute gifts and I wanna show you guys. I meant to do it yesterday, but I just forgot. Also, I made me a electrolyte drink from the electrolyte packs that I got off of Amazon when I, back when I was like pregnant. I've been out of my body armor, so I'm still trying to get my electrolytes in. This is the orange flavor and it's, I really like it. But first from one of our church families that we sit by every Sunday and the guy was Jared's sponsor. They got Brecklin a little baptism gift, which is so cute. It's this little bunny. Can you see it in there? And it's a book. It's called Every Bunny Prays. And then, whoopsies. This is, no, get back. It's not for you. This is the little bunny that it came with. Yesterday, it terrified her because I played it and she wasn't expecting it and she screamed. So I don't know how she's gonna feel about it today. The other days that I've we've done it, she loved it and just smiles at it. So, you see the bunny? Are you ready? Amen. I don't know what was 
happening yesterday, but she, my brother was holding her and I played it and it just like scared her. And she did the same cry that she cries when Granger barks and it scares her. So I think she was just startled. Get back, this is not for you. And then next, her godmother got her this, which it's so cute. It says Brecklin with a cross. And you open it up and it's a jewelry holder and like a rosary holder. And it has the date that she was baptized. This is so adorable. And my brother got her her very first rosary and then he got her a beaded rosary like shortly after she was born and we used that beaded rosary to her godparents to be their godparents in that picture if you guys watch that vlog. And then he also got her a little chew toy rosary which I'll have to show you. It is so adorable. It like matches her room. These are like you're just resting on my... <laughs> My pump, huh? Okay, here's the little chew toy rosary that he got her. It's so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? I love it so much. She's not really like into chewing things right now, so I haven't given it to her. But when she does need a chew toy, this will be it, huh? And then the real rosary that her he got her, I'm obsessed with. Like, I want it for myself. And I might find one on Etsy because that's where he got it. But you think I can lay you down? Are you gonna be chill if I lay you down? Oh, there you go, good girl. But here is the rosary that he got her. It's like this beautiful purple color. I freaking love it so much. It's so beautiful. I have no idea where, like what store he got it from. Actually, yeah, I do. This is the store off of Etsy that he got it from. If you wanna shop it. What the matter? But like I said, I'm obsessed. And it's so heavy, so you like know it's really good quality. So I wanna find me one too. And then my dad and stepmom got her Easter basket. It says, Happy Easter. They got her some bunny ears, which are so cute. They're too big for her, but they're adorable. She can probably wear them next Easter. This little rattle, little bunny thing. Oh, it's a security baby blanket. A book? What's the matter? I'm showing them your Easter basket. I know you're getting hungry. And then, the coolest thing that she got for Easter. I don't want to get up and go get it. And she doesn't want me to, huh? Her doesn't want me to. I know, it's not very comfortable when mom pumps. No, it's not. When you're getting hungry. But my parents go to the lake every weekend during the summer. They have like a camper and stuff. So they got her her own little like floaty and it's a mermaid and it's so adorable. Don't let me forget to show you. I need to show you. But I'm gonna show you after I'm done pumping, after I'm done feeding her and all the things. But I will show you. So it is now almost six o'clock. It's 5.55 and I really, really, really want to go for another walk. We have just been lazy girls ever since getting home from our last walk when I showered and stuff. And so I have not filmed either video that I was planning on filming today. I'll just do it tomorrow, whatever. I just, I really wanted to film. I just literally no ounce of me wanted to do my makeup today. So I just decided not to, but I'll do my makeup tomorrow and then I'll have it done for when I like go to town and get groceries and stuff like that. So we're just going to film tomorrow, but I really just want to go for another walk and be outside because it's so beautiful. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I might wear Brecklin for our walk since I'm going to be taking the dogs and try and see how that works out because walking the dogs with the stroller it wasn't terrible but it was just I had literally no free hands at all I don't know we're just gonna try it out see how it works but I do need to change what's the temperature out it's 66 degrees so pretty nice I'm just gonna put this long sleeve shirt on the only thing about going for another walk is I don't want to sweat because I don't want to have to take another shower but it's just so beautiful. I have to get out and I have to get the dogs out too. So that's what we're going to do. Also somehow Brecklin, she always like is like has when I hold her like this, she like has her arm over my watch and she just like her fingers start workouts for me. And she started a workout for me earlier. It was a yoga workout and it lasted like an hour and 14 minutes. And supposedly I burned 252 calories <laughs> while just sitting on the couch. So thanks girlfriend. <laughs> If you were thinking, I forgot to show you. 
I'm not forgetting. I just took a little longer to do it. But this is the little floating device that I told you about. Look at this little mermaid. It's so freaking cute. This is what her grand dude and grandma got for Easter for the lake. And it's going to be so fun. I can't wait to see her in this little mermaid thing. Literally adorable. And of course it's purple because we're a purple girly. But yeah. I think I'm gonna close the video out here because I feel like I've done a lot of vlogging today. And if I haven't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I have. But I'm just gonna take the trash out and then we're probably gonna get ready to do our nighttime routine. It is almost seven o'clock, so perfect timing. We actually honestly didn't even go on a walk for that long. I literally think we walked for 10 minutes and 58 seconds. Uh, I looked at my watch right as I was walking back through our sidewalk. But it was like sunny out and I didn't have a hat on her and I didn't really like that. Her head was kind of exposed, so I like just walked with my head over, hand over her head. And there was a lot of shade on the walk, but still I just rather would have had a hat with me. And then, I don't know, I just don't know if I liked the vibe of baby wearing while on a walk, but we did go in the backyard and throw the ball for the dogs for like 15 minutes after that. So they are exhausted. They are so worn out. They're like panting so much because the AC hasn't kicked on in our house yet. It's still like set to heat because it's really cold at night. So they're like so hot. They just want to lay over the vents, but nothing's coming out of the, over the vent because it's honestly hotter in our house than what the heater is set to. I think it's set to like 70 and it's like 73 in here. Anyway, why do I continue to talk when I I'm literally closing out the vlog, but I'm closing out the video. I hope you guys liked it. We love you so much. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.